Hello, everybody. This is Shirley Henderson from ShareWork.com. And today's episode of Share's podcast it is the conclusion of the research for the bailout for students, students' loan, the cancellation of the student debt, the national student debt, which you know it's more than $1.6 trillion. Well, the conclusion is very happily the findings are. It is concluded that the bailout of the national debt will be the biggest economic stimulus of all times for the Americans and the process can be speeded with a bailout initiative. I think it's called, it's called ballot initiative. With a popular uh, initiated referendum and this is not a legal advice, of course. If you need legal advice, please do so and always practice due diligence. All right, so, well, in my research uh, from this national debt uh, problem, uh, the last time it was touched was about 10 years ago because that was the first article that I found out on the internet about this topic six months ago, uh, about a year, six months through a year, I've been researching this topic, and the last time it was touched was 10 years ago, those, those articles that I found. So, and then I started looking that, um, and then I make this article that is called Three Ways to Have uh, the Cancellation of Student Debt, and then I found out that some uh, states, they have uh, tax credits for people who are paying their student uh, loans, and at the end of the year, every tax year, they get credits towards those, uh, the money that they're getting paid. For example, if you, pay, if you need to pay $3,000 in taxes and you make those payments to your student debt, it gets refunded, okay? And, and then there's some, uh, some states that they have free education, they have free college tuition, they have some programs for that. So it is possible, it is possible. And then I created a bill to have the cancellation of student debt because some taxes can be rerouted. You know, some companies, uh, they can tax a few. There's some switches in taxations that it can be arranged in order to have the bailout of the student debt, the national student debt. And then we have uh, uh, the Cancellation of Student Debt Act, who has been uh, introduced by uh, presidential candidate Bernie Sanders and, and also a representative Alexandra Ocasio. They absolutely they did an amazing job. So I think to speed, uh, speed up the process, we can, uh, we can call out here. I'm gonna read, you can find all this information at my blog, sharework.com, and also on my social media, if you're following me, you can find me on social media, Share uh, Henderson, Shirley Henderson, and Facebook, Shirley Henderson 21, uh, Instagram, Shirley.Henderson, uh, Twitter is share, uh, low dash Henderson, go ahead, find me out, and everything is all there. If you go to YouTube, Share Henderson as well. You will be able to find this. Just Google how to cancel student debt, Shirley Henderson, something like that. You will find it. Um, the, the slides. Yes? Okay. So the solution for the uh, national student debt crisis, we need a student bailout. Okay? Uh, how can the government bail out the national student debt? with a ballot initiative. What is a ballot initiative? When a petition is signed by X amount of voters to have a law enacted with a public vote. Here we go. So the, the act that is being uh, introduced to Congress uh, for, for that I just mentioned, the Cancellation of Student Debt Act, this petition can be signed by an X amount of voters, and this can be 
uh, turning to Allah, uh, enacted with a public vote. So Google that, Google what is a ballot initiative, ballot, B-A-L-L-O-T, ballot initiative, when a petition is signed by X amount of voters to have a law enacted with a public vote. That's what we need. So once this turned into a law, guess what? The cancellation of student debt, it is possible. Yes? So if all this process, if all this information, if all this work wouldn't have a reaction, uh, it wouldn't be possible, but it is. It is. That's what, I, that's what I call it potentially when I make that article. I said, how to potentially, because I saw the potential. I, I saw that the cancellation of student debt, it is possible. And by the way, when this cancellation of student debt, it is done, it will be the biggest economic incentive of all times for Americans and for the people. For the first time in probably since the, the getting of the taxes, of course we pay taxes so we can have better schools, better roads and everything, but the taxes were always bailed out for bankers, for um, the housing industry, the car industry, and all those things, and never for the people. But for the first time, these will be, uh, will be able and doable. So I think that the National Student Loan Debt Bailout may get enough signatures to have the petition pass it as a law with a popular initiated referendum. Yes? So this is not a legal advice, like I said. So do your own diligence. Uh, but you have to take action. You have to take action. You have to talk with your representatives and about this on social media using the hashtag cancellation, uh, cancel student debt and also the hashtag bailout students. So use those hashtags so everybody can see what you're writing because remember, not everybody's friends with everybody on social media, but if we use the hashtags, we can find the common goal, the common this, this, is, uh, this is a cause that everybody it is involved and nobody's talking about it. So go ahead and do so. Practice your, your, you know, you have the right to speak. Practice your right of speech. Use your hashtags on social media. Talk about it. How will this benefit you? How, how is this paying student debt when you know that in other countries it's for free, education is for free, to start with, we shouldn't be paying education. So this is just a huge burden for everybody. And also, this why will this be just an economic incentive for, for the students? When I'm going to tell you this, this information, everybody should be behind this, uh, the bailout of student debt because there is a question, why is a house on the market for so long? And the short answer is student debt. Students are not able to buy cars, are not able to buy houses because they have to pay student debt. And this has been happening for three generations already, like generation of baby, baby boomers, the generation X, and the millennials, and now the C generation is going through this if we don't get free education for them. So let's, let's, let's all get together in this cause. This is important for everybody. The car industry will get benefit from this because they will start getting more sales, because people will have more money to buy cars. The housing industry, the banks, they can get more loans, they can, uh, they can make, uh, give more loans to people who want to buy more houses. Yes, and guess what? The retail industry as well, because you think that the, the malls are becoming ghost malls for some reason? No. I know that online sales will continue growing, everything is very convenient, but people like to get together at the mall. People like to go out just to get out of the house. Malls shouldn't be dying. And the reason they're dying is because people don't have money to spend because they're getting their wages uh, garnished, uh, their paychecks. They don't have money to go shop. All right, I have three seconds to say thank you to you for listening to me. And thank you so much. I want to see you succeed in every area of your life. My name is Shirley Henderson. And subscribe to my newsletter, my YouTube channel, and listen to my podcast. I love you, everybody. And see you guys back. Remember, I am on the side of humankind.